Hey, I'm Deanna Fletcher for UCB Extra here with Transform DJs. So tell us about yourselves and the story behind Transform DJs. So we had a long history of DJing. Um, I've done a lot of stuff just with raves and club events and things like that. And um, John and I met in college and uh, over time just touching base with each other, um, we ran into some other uh, people that were doing events at the time. We, in a roundabout way, found out that we were all believers and and wanted to do something uh, with electronic dance music. And uh, we formed what was called Transform Productions. And what we would do is a total outreach to the uh, club, rave, nightlife scene in Denver, Colorado. Um, And what we would do is we would hold all night warehouse parties, um, just like a rave. Uh, we'd bring in DJs from, from out of state and, and uh, you know guest DJs. Uh, have an all-night event. <clears throat> and uh, what we would do then is we would get email addresses from, from the people who attended. This was way before social media was. But we would get email addresses and invite them to a local coffee shop. And, and that was an extension of you know a warehouse party. So through that, we, we got connected with a lot of local club promoters and DJs and were able to just co-op on some things, just club nights, things like Mm. that. So tell me about the work that you guys are doing now, because obviously you're from America, you're here on tour. Uh, What kind of events do you guys perform to and kind of just just tell us a bit about what you do when you get up there. Okay, well I'm fast forwarding a bit from kind of the warehouse and the old production stuff we used to do. About 2009, we kind of rebranded and regathered as Transform DJs when a friend of ours um, gave us the opportunity to play um, at a Christian music festival in Kentucky, of all places. Um, And it just went off. It just went so well that they had us back the next year and the next year and the next year on um, the second biggest stage in the entire festival. And it kind of became our uh, main festival, if you will. And it just went unbelievable. So what we do now is... um, we're a collective of DJs. It's primarily Tim and I. We have Breakdancer, who's amazing as well. Our wives join us as much as possible. Um, we have um, a huge party, beach balls and glow sticks and electro and progressive music, and we're on stage. And it is a one massive party. Um, but what we think is successful um, when we do this, we, we have three things um, that we're trying to do. Whenever we play, we want these three things to kind of come out, and then that's a successful show. And that's sharing the gospel, telling people about Jesus. Number two is uh, defending pre-born people and other defenseless people worldwide, kind of a a Matthew 25, kind of Queen Esther in the Bible type um, idea of like speaking up for um, those who are in need. And then we want to lead God's people into worship. So um, we use electronic dance music to just bring worship and seek the Holy Spirit. We're going to continue to perform um, youth ministry and evangelism. And like I said, uh, defending preborn people and other defenseless people in worship are so huge on our heart. If we can bring that into the school's work or churches or festivals, we've done what we've set out to do then. I can understand um, taking club music or the club scene into schools that can really connect with kids where they are as an outreach tool. I mean, that kind of makes sense. But for someone who's perhaps thinking, how can you explain the worship setting? Because for a lot of people, mm-hmm. worship belongs in church. Um, it's about connecting with God, not a rave party. Right. How does that work? Well, what we what we typically do is we try to provide a, an environment or a context that's familiar. So we'll play remixes of familiar worship songs. So Here I Am to Worship or um, Dancing Generation or uh, you know just some of the more uh, contemporary worship songs that you might hear. Uh, So we'll have that but in addition we'll put words on the screen. So you know I think typically when you go to church um, you're singing a worship song, the words on the screen, you're singing along. And so we've done that. We get into the worship aspect of our show, and I think it provides a context of, for people that says, oh, wait, I, hey, I know this song, and I, I'm viewing the words, and I can sing along. Even if I'm not dancing or super, rah, 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 you know, going crazy, I can still yeah. sing along and engage uh, with, with the music and, and with God through that. What are some of the biggest issues in club culture today do you think and how can we tackle them that's a big that's question a i actually i don't i don't think the issues have changed from 
1970s in the disco era to 1980s to 1990s, it's all about the same thing. It's about sex and drugs. I mean, that's it's just, it's heavy. You do have people that love the music so much, they just go for the music. It's the same thing as it ever was. These people just needing Jesus in 2013 like they did in 1973. It's just people lost, people trying to fill their life with something, go out, have a good time, whatever. Um, but in the end, it's just they just need Jesus. And we don't think we're the solution. We know Jesus is the solution, and we just want to be messengers. We just want to be carriers of the gospel, and I think that that's the solution to, man, the same problem that's been the same for all this time, you know? Yeah. And let me ask you as well, what's happening in electronic music right now that you're really excited about? Well, for, for me, I think it's just a platform to, man, just like share other issues. Just the ability to worship God, to use it for worship, and Tim's already touched on that. What is exciting is there's, there's more and more Christian or, or believing producers that are out there that are making legitimate quality stuff, and they're having an impact and so it's really exciting to see people who believe are having influence, mm. you know? They, they make this track that is turning heads and these people go check out their Facebook page or their whatever and, and it's like, you know, believer in Jesus or they're sharing scripture verses, just little things that provide massive influence. That's exciting for me is knowing that there are believers that are producing quality stuff because even just a short while ago, it was very difficult to find good quality, Christ-centered or, or Christian-produced electronic dance music, and it's definitely on the rise. Before I let you go, just tell me briefly in summary as well, how, because it's such a big topic, we just don't have time to get into it in full, how are you um, managing to work your electronic music and your artistry with hot topics like defending the pre-born, as you call it? Well, um, like a singer-songwriter would have the opportunity to sit on his kind of bench and have his guitar on his knee and explain the song that he wrote in some town while he was in college and then sing it. <laughs> or I wrote it about this topic or that topic and then they can speak throughout their set. Well as DJs we kind of have a continuous mix and while Transform DJs is very heavy on the mic, we've realized we need to communicate um, in, a different, in a different way so we um, do that through making films. Um, and we're in the process of making our second one, which is going to be the gospel, where people, even if we don't say a word, will know about about Jesus because they've seen our set, because they've seen the film. And then, like in, in the same way, we made a film. It's an absolute miracle how um, how it happened, um, but it's high, very high quality, and we play it synced into our set. That's really exciting. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're very Thank welcome. Thank you. If you at home would like to find out more. Uh, about Transform DJs, it's really easy. Do that online. Just log on to transformdjs.com and make sure you get involved in what they're doing on Facebook and on Twitter as well. UCB.co.uk slash extra. This is the electronic alternative. Extra. This is the part of the show you've all been waiting for. Transform DJs popped into UCB. You can find out more about them online at transformdjs.com. This is Beats. Let's make it electric. My hands go up and you know. I, my hands go up and you know. I, my hands go up and you know. I, 
Hey, I'm John. And I'm Tim. And we're the Transform DJs, and you're plugged into UCB Extra. Transform DJs on UCB Extra with an exclusive mini mix to beats. You can listen to this mini mix again and the whole show actually by visiting ucb.co.uk slash beats. And don't forget as well, you can check out an exclusive interview with Transform DJs as well. ucb.co.uk slash beats. UCB. UCB Extra. You're listening to Beats. UCB.co.uk extra. Hey guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to our mix and really hope that you enjoyed it. We wanted to let you know that the most important thing that we can share with you is this, and that is in the book of uh, John, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only son. Um, we definitely, uh, as Transform DJs, definitely do not have all the answers and we definitely don't have everything together but we do know that there is a God out there that loves you so much we believe that you have a purpose in life and that God desperately wants a relationship with you because he created you to have a relationship with him however our sins yours and ours everyone's they separate us from God and the thing is is that those sins can't be removed by any kind of good deed or anything that we try to do on ourself to remove those sins. And so the good news is this, is that paying the price for sin, Jesus came to earth. God's one and only son came to earth and he lived the perfect life. And he died on a cross. They put nails in his hands and feet. They beat him and they whipped him and they put him up on a cross and he was crucified and died on the cross to pay for our sins. But the good news is also that three days later, he rose again and he's alive. He's a living God and he desperately wants that relationship with you. And everybody who believes that, everyone who trusts in Jesus as their only way to heaven will have eternal life. And life that's eternal is being with Jesus forever and ever and ever in heaven. And so we just want to share that from the bottom of our hearts with you and just hope that you would trust Christ as your only way to heaven. And if you'd like to, you can just tell him now and say, Jesus, I do believe that you are the Son of God who came to earth, who died on the cross and rose again. And I believe you're coming back one day. And today I just choose to follow you. And from this day on, I want to become a follower and have a relationship with you. If you said that prayer, and we hope you did, we know that there is a party going on in heaven. Actually, the Bible says so. And so we are rejoicing and super stoked with you um, because that is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life. And if you did make that decision to follow Jesus, we encourage you to spend time getting to know him better by uh, reading his word, reading the Bible, and belonging to a community of 
other people who believe in Jesus um, at a church. So if you have any more questions, uh, you want to find out some more, check out the link that we provide at the bottom. We have one that says cru.org or crew.org. You can check that out. Or if you want to message us and um, ask some questions about Jesus or want to know more about what we're talking about with regard to the gospel, then yeah, please message us. And either Tim or myself, our wives, or somebody from our team will respond and um, try to answer the questions that you have, or maybe even just pray for the prayer requests that you you send us. That would be excellent. Also, the Transform DJs are about defending pre-born people and other defenseless people worldwide. If you're facing a crisis pregnancy, we encourage you to give life to your child. So if you have questions or you want to find somebody that you can connect with um, to help, please check out the links that we provided or just message us and we'll definitely put you in contact with the right people that can help you. Peace.